Um, now, boys, the sitar. It's an amazing inclusion into the band. Is this something that you've actively tried to work in? Is this something that you just really wanted to learn how to play and you're like, guys, guess what's in the band now? It's a sitar. How did that sort of come to be part of your sound? That's probably, that's probably a Jamie question. Probably a Jamie question. We probably yeah. saw Oscar playing sitar in another band and just around in, in Sons of Zoku and then we were like, whoa, that's pretty amazing. We should, you know, I suppose just like level I've up. like um, always tried to emulate like a sitar kind of sound with my guitar playing mm. and then um, me and Oscar have been friends for a while and he, and he picked it up and I said, hey, come on in. Come on Let's in. Let's do it authentically. Well, yeah, the only better way to emulate the sitar than is with a real sitar. With a real sitar. I know, yeah. It's just, I just want milk that tastes like real milk. George Alice, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I want to do, I, your story is nuts to me. So like back in back in 2019, you win on Earth High, you're 16 years old, and you go, what, number 64 in the Hottest 100? Yeah. Was it like the movies? It's so silly. <laughs> it's all so silly. Cause like, I obviously you don't know that you're getting the Hottest 100, and but I've like listened and like, did the whole big party every year for the Hottest 100, and yeah. like did the whole celebration. My whole family's a big Triple J family. And then I was like playing a festival and then like my song came on and I was like, nice one guys, yeah. really funny, really funny. And yeah, it was my song, it's so silly. That's so cool. Alrighty fellas, here with The Wanderers. Now last year you guys put up the video on YouTube, the live studio recording of What About It in Chapel Lane Studios, oh, yes, right? Yeah. Watching that, big like, uh, not to be the dude who watches like one music documentary and then compares everything to it, but it felt like Get Back. Like you're just sitting there, oh, like yeah. everyone's doing their own shit. Quite often we'll ask people what's their favourite live venue to play in, but just a bit of a change up on that. What's your favourite recording spaces in South Australia? Like, what are some of the best spots to go lay down tracks? Uh, Wandenbergs, we, we do. I mean, we did that live video at Chapel Lane because, I mean, the gear's incredible um, and the space is beautiful visually as well. And it's big enough for us to kind of do our thing yeah. and spread out a little more. But uh, for recording uh, for our records, we tend to go to Wandenbergs where Lewis is just the sweetest man in the world and he just knows his stuff and he's a sweet dude, as I just said. And I'll, just, I'll just call him sweet again. He's just sweet. I like him. We love him. It's got a good vibe. Good vibe at the studio. Good vibe at the studio. We're with Wes Beberton. Adelaide's a bit of a hidden gem for the music scene. What do you wish other people knew about, yeah, our local bands and industry? What do you reckon? Um, I think we have some, like, pretty cool like really tiny venues where like I think some big bands can play still like you know Cranker like can house some pretty like it's 200 cap it's really cool like the I wish the Exeter did more shows to be honest like we played a lot of shows there and it's pretty rowdy um, but I think just we have some really cool venues that mm. not I guess every city does but like they're special here and I don't know I feel like that's what makes Adelaide pretty pretty unique like a lot of bands come to Adelaide to play the Cranker and it's like yeah a pretty unique show and quite special um, yeah, I also think that Adelaide bands work very hard. Yeah, I feel you like have to. I feel like you kind of overcompensate. You work hard. Yeah, coming from a smaller city, I think you have more to prove. And yeah, the people that I know in this in the in the scene are definitely working pretty hard. So, what do you think, Tom? Yeah. You're a Sydney sider now. Uh, ah. Oh yeah. Um, I think that I feel like Adelaide has a lot of really cool bands that are doing stuff that's very different to bands around the country just because there is that distance from like the industry which I like the wider national industry which I actually think is a really good thing like people in Adelaide aren't trying to like play to trend so much and they're just doing what they want to do and which I think makes something really special yeah 